Hello, I am Farina and I'm an application engineer at Materialize. In this video, I will show you how to design a patient-specific cranial plate. In 3Matic, it's easy to design a cranial plate directly on the patient's anatomy. The fast and flexible semi-automated design tools allow you to design patient-specific prostheses with an even or variable thickness in a repeatable process. We're going to show you how you can create such a plate in just a few steps. Open the project containing the skull model in 3Matic. Before creating the outline for the cranial plate, we'll first want to smooth the skull, so let's apply the reduce, smooth, and wrap operation. We're going to use this wrap skull model to indicate the outline of the defect. Select the Create Curve operation and choose Smooth Curve as the creation method. Check the options Attract and Attach Curve. Now you can create a curve around the defect. Make sure to draw the curve close to the edge of the defect, but in a low curvature area, so there's tangency between the skull and the implant. Once you're finished, close the curve using the Close tool in the Curve menu. To help you identify high curvature areas, the analysis module can run a curvature analysis. This will provide you with a color map of the surface curvature, which can be adjusted by adapting the histogram range. The results of this analysis can help you refine your curve. To edit the curve, Click on the point you want to move and drag it to a new position. You can adjust the influence distance to limit the part of the curve that can be moved. This next step is optional, but mirroring the skull can improve the symmetry of your final results. Guiding lines based on a mirrored version of the skull can be used to make sure your implant design nicely matches the other side of the skull. To obtain these guiding lines, first create a sketch in the sagittal plane using the mid-plane method. You can adjust the size of the sketch by adjusting the cell size and the cell counts from the parameters list. If you need to, you can adjust the position of the sagittal sketch with the interactive translate rotate tool to ensure you have the correct plane of symmetry for the skull. You can easily launch these tools just by pressing the T or R key on your keyboard. Now that the sketch is correctly positioned, you can create a mirrored copy of the skull using the mirror operation. Make sure you've checked the copy option. Duplicate the sagittal sketch and rename the result to sketch coronal. I'm going to rotate the sketch 90 degrees using enable snapping to easily rotate the plane in steps of 90 degrees. You'll want to move the rotated plane so that it roughly divides the defect vertically into two. You can adjust the mirrored skull using Interactive Translate to improve its positioning against the original skull. Now you'll need to import the skull information defect curve, and mirrored anatomy into the sketch. The points where the sketch and the defect curve intersect will act as the starting and ending points for the guiding curve. Use the Create Spline tool to draw this curve. 
When you do this, try to match the mirrored skull as closely as possible. Now it's time to start creating the cranial plate. First, select the surface construction operation and select the defect curve as the entity and the coronal sketch as the guiding line. For triangulation, choose fine. If the resulting surface is not tangential to the skull, the outline curve will need to be flipped. To do this, first undo the surface construction then select the curve and click on Flip Curve. Now you can reconstruct the surface. The newly created surface will be part of the skull, but we want it to be a separate entity. So right click and this will make it a separate surface. The newly created surface will be part of the skull, but we want it to be a separate entity. So right click and this will make it a separate part. Now we'll want to add a thickness to the surface. To get an idea of the thickness of the skull in different areas around the defect, you can use the measure distance tool, preferably on the original skull. Use the variable offset tool to display the different thickness values along the surface contour. You can assign a local thickness value to one or several points on the surface contour and repeat this as many times as needed. To visualize the results, select the standard section X and clip it. Make sure to hide the section again before going on to the next step. At this point, the plate still doesn't fit smoothly against the skull, so we need to subtract the skull from the plate. For a smooth fit, add a clearance distance of 0.1 millimeters using the uniform offset tool. Before proceeding, you'll need to remove all redundant shells. To do this, go to the Mark menu and click on Mark Shell to select the skull. Then invert the selection. Press Delete to get rid of any loose pieces. Now, to subtract the skull from the plate, Perform a Boolean subtraction with the prostheses as the entity and the skull as a subtraction entity. It's possible that the resulting entity will have some additional loose pieces. You can remove these just like you did before using the mark shell and invert marking functions. Now we're ready to finalize our cranial plate design. First, we're going to remove the obstructing material that's preventing the plate from having good fit. Apply the undercut removal operation, selecting normal as the direction of the upper surface of the prosthesis. The multiple surfaces on the side can be merged, but only select the side surfaces and not the top or bottom. Those contours need to be available for further finishing. As a next step, select the contour you want to smooth. The smoother the detail, the finer the result, but the longer the calculation will take. Use the chamfer edge tool to create a smooth bevel around the bottom contour. Select the outer contour of the bottom surface of the prosthesis, set the distance and apply. Finally, we want to make suture holes 
so that the soft tissue can be stitched to the prostheses. To do this, we can create a cylinder that will be patterned and subtracted from the plate to create holes. Place points on the prostheses where the holes need to be. You can easily create points by pressing shift and enter. Group the points that have been created. Using the point based pattern tool, you can now pattern the cylinder. Choose Z as a direction. Subtract the pattern cylinders from the processes using Boolean subtraction to obtain your final result.